Hello everyone, I am Bets Golden and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a sublimation technique using the January blank of the month through Artistry. Basically each month they come out with a special blank that is only available for the month and this month it is, or for January 2021, it is this wine bag. And um, this is, I really like this. It's, it's a very beautiful bag. I like the gold, but it is is an 80% at least polyester blend on this and what that means is it does shrink quite a bit because the weave is a bit bigger so there's a trick when sublimating this and I'm going to tell you um, I'm going to be sublimating this same image that I practiced on but you have to iron this first to get it to shrink because you don't want it to be shrinking as you are sublimating on it because this is what happens if you do that. You end up with a ghost image because this shrunk, look how much this shrunk down. All right, it's a good half inch on each side and your paper doesn't shrink so it causes a ghost image like this to occur. So what I did, was I went, hmm, I ironed, I noticed that the weave was different. I mean, look at look at how different that weave is right there. You can tell how tight this is versus how loose it is here. So what I did was I decided to try it on the other side. And so I used this same stencil that I had created for this and just put on the other side. So it's the same ink and everything. Made sure that I ironed it down first, making sure that it shrunk. And then this is what I got. Now, the reason why the color isn't so vivid is because I used the same copy paper that had the ink on it. So this was like leftover. So we're gonna do it on this one and I'm gonna show you how you can kind of troubleshoot that to end up with a beautiful wine bag. And my saying is gonna be 2020 Survivor Club member. So let me set this aside and show you what I created. On my scanning cut, I've always had a hard time um, <laughs> It, it, getting my letters and my words mirrored because you have to do it kind of backwards well not kind of but totally backwards in order for it to work so I went on my scan and cut I came up with they had like like seven different font sizes I think so I selected the font sizes for it I cut it out on a 110 pound cardstock and then um I just simply flipped it over and placed it on a piece of copy paper like so. And voila, there we go. From here, I used the um, markers that Artistry has out. In black, there's a, a four pack, the fine black marker to outline all of the letters and then I also use the candy apple, which is in the rainbow pack, kind of, I like to call it the summer pack, to, I'll, um, to color in the survivor. And so from here, I'm just gonna make sure that I get the adhesive off completely uh, because it will get sticky. And I'm going to just cut this down from here. So I'm gonna iron this first, and basically I'm going to take my silicone mat that I'm going to sublimate on with my press, and I am just going to make sure that I iron it and get it all shrunk down and the, that weave tighter. And then, then I will sublimate. All right, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead and take that silicone paper and I'm going to place it inside of my bag first. And this will protect, it does two things. It protects the other side of the bag from having an image on it. And it also allows for the sublimation when it turns into a gas to be trapped. That's why the silicone paper is super important because it traps that gas and it forces it onto this blank, which has um, a, basically a polyester because that's what sublimation ink works on is polyester. So I'm gonna put this down like so. 
the heat tape that I am using um, is great for the iron. It does not leave a sticky mess and it holds pretty good. So I wanna tape all of the sides down because I'm going to have to press it several times, meaning I'm going to have to pick the iron up every three minutes and, you, and move it. So it's super important that my image stays put, and that is why I'm taping all of this down. If I were using a big press, I wouldn't have to be so diligent about placing my tape around all of the edges completely because you only press it once. So you literally can just do a couple pieces here and there. So from here, I'm going to take my silicone mat. And again, this is heat resistant. It really helps keep that heat nice and hot and the ink to transfer over. I need to put the top of the silicone paper. So I need to have two of the silicone papers. Now from here, I'm going to take my iron. The iron that I'm using does not have any holes in it. So if you're using an iron that has holes, you're going to need to keep that in mind because where the holes are, you are not going to have the sublimation occur. So you'll just need to pick your iron up and move it around, which is why this is important that you get all of this um, tape down. All right, so I'm going to start like this, and I'm going to press it for three minutes. I did add pressure, which was a really great tip from Artispree. Now I'm just going to lift that up and going to move this down. And then as you can tell, some of my sublimation has even come out on top of the silicone. So I wanna make sure that I'm careful to line it up, or if you're concerned, you can go ahead and actually um, get a new piece of, of sublimation paper, which I think I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take this right here, and I'm just going to cut another piece because I do have some of the ghost image on just from where the sublimation came through. And when I lifted that paper up, it moved and I don't wanna risk putting it back down on the wrong spot. So I'm just going to cut another sheet of silicone paper. You guys don't wanna use wax paper with this because wax paper is not meant to heat up and it does not trap that gas like you need it to do. So uh, silicone paper is really best. You can use parchment paper, but I recommend silicone paper because I know that it was created to do this and the, the chemicals that are released can handle this and it's not bad for, um, you know, inhale, you know, my body. I don't, I'm not worried about inhaling it like I would other types of paper. All right, so from here, I'm going to do another three minute press. All right, this has been on for three minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up, and let's see how we sublimated. Now, something you wanna keep in mind is this is all very hot. This right here where the iron was is hot. This over here has cooled down enough. If this was metal, obviously, it would be a whole lot warmer and hotter for longer than this because this is a fabric. So we can start to, like this is really warm. So be careful if you have your children around, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see what we have here. And my club did not transfer, so I'm gonna put pop that down. Let's see if I everything else did though. Yeah, the club did not. So I need to go back and carefully um, do that spot. And again, the ink started to come through on this. So I don't want to use that one again. I'm going to cut off a little piece of paper 
Three minutes is up. Let's see how we did with that. Hopefully the L, this little piece down here, I don't remember if that's sublimated or not. So we will see. Again, it's very hot. Oh, it did sublimate. Voila, look how cool that is. Look at that, that is so awesome. So if you want a vibrant color and make sure that it doesn't move, make sure that you put pressure on your iron as you are pressing to get a perfect, beautiful, crisp image. The pressure will also give you a really nice vibrancy on this. So I'm gonna go put my champagne in it and um, take a shot, a beauty shot of this for this video as well as Instagram. If you guys are interested in doing this technique um, or trying out these products, head over to Artispree. I have the link provided down below. I'm also going to give you a coupon code for 10% off that is exclusive for my subscribers and followers. Make sure that you use it so you can get that nice discount. It is BETZ10. I will have that down below as well. These inks um, are safe for children. You just don't want the children, obviously, to be ironing this or pressing because they could burn themselves. But the inks are wonderful for kids, so if you want to create some artwork and sublimate it onto anything that has at least an 80% poly coating or poly blend, which would include canvas bags like this or um, metal tags that have a poly coating on it, you can totally do that. Go check it out. I also have a lot of videos here, on, well, some videos here. I'm still starting off with this new technique. Um, and so you can find some really great resources here as well as the Artispree YouTube channel and they really have a great group. All right, you guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I certainly hope that you consider doing so. Make sure that you hit that notification bell as well so you know when I have a new video that is coming out. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and if you um, wanna Chit chat with me, make sure you drop me a line in the comments. Until next time, I'm Bud's Golden. Happy crafting.